Hey guys, it's Full Cards here, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York, and in front of me today, bing, bang, boom, I have a box of 1999-2000 Omega from Pacific. Isn't that terrific? Uh, one in five chance of getting a game worn, so that'd be a 20% chance. Uh, Pacific's been around since 1994, one of the first companies to the mid-end foil die-cut jersey cards. Uh, but MLBA caught them using non-game warns and non-game used bats and uh, poof went their licensing so they ended up with Panini I guess. Uh, but this is from 2000, 1999, 2000. It would be the rookie year of a couple of people like uh, Nick Antropov, Patrick Stefan who was the first overall, Brian Rafalski, Mike Fisher, Johan Hecht, John Graham, Brian Campbell who was on uh, Chicago's uh, cup team. A couple of other ones, uh, Frankie Bouillon of the Habs, so that would be one to target uh, to uh, perhaps um, gear and gun for. So let's see what we have within here. We have six cards per pack, 36 packs per box, that's 216 cards. Uh, the base set would be 250, so we're, uh, we'd make a headway towards that. With regard to parallels, there are, are uh, coppers, ice blues, and premier dates, which are one of ones those last. Uh, EOs, which are Electric Omega Portraits, 20 car checklist, 1 in 73, which would be a 0.49% chance, so half, half of the boxes would contain them. Uh, what else? NHL Generations Dual Cards, those are kind of cool. Uh, those are 1 of 145, so that'd be a quarter of the time you get those puppies. Cup Contender Die Cuts, a 1 in 73, so that'd be, again, about half the time, 0.49% of the time, or a card per box. Uh, also, five star talents. Five star talents are four per box, and those are a tier checklist. So that's really cool. They have like different colors for the different tiers. Uh, depending on who you are and where you are on the checklist, you're either very rare or not so rare. Uh, and then there are the world stars and north star uh, all stars. And those would be because the all star game back in the 1999 2000 season uh, would have been, believe it or not, uh, the world versus Team North America uh, within the All-Star Game. In fact, the 2000 All-Star Game what, was in Toronto and had that formulation of a composition for the All-Star Game. Uh, if you remember, recall, uh, you may or you may not. So there we have a hobby box. Uh, we don't appear to have a seal. And this, these are, this is a hobby box, three across, one of the first uh, of this nature back in the day. And look at that cat. Isn't that cool? And we have a Marty Brodeur on the cover. Uh, notice how there's no emblem on his jersey. Uh, that is interesting. Uh, so here we go, man. It's a hobby box. So let's see. We could theoretically potentially get a game worn. Uh, those are super rare, very short checklist. Uh, and those are hard to actually get. I mean, even if you to get them on eBay, it probably costs a good five, ten dollars as opposed to the one dollars that we're accustomed to. So let's see uh, what we get within uh, this particular box of stuff. 36 packs, man, this is gonna take a while, so you've been forewarned. There's Tommy Salo. Uh, there is Valerie Bure. So Valerie Bure, I believe it was what, 20, 20th overall or something to that effect? He was uh, drafted by the Habs, I think. <laughs> Hey guys, I just spent some 36 minutes opening up some 36 packs, uh, six cards per pack. So what I thought I'd do because it took so long is to just pop over, just roll right over to the recap uh, to alleviate uh, time and suffering uh, because you guys only have so much time on your hands. And let me just quickly go through the base. Uh, this is kind of cool. This is actually him, uh, Yara Yager with the All Worlds, I guess, in the All-Star game. And notice how the faces are on the bottom right and some me metallic technology. Uh, but they're really busy cards, very old school looking uh, clutter, uh, clutterbuck cards, if you will. Um, but hey, there's Travis Green, presently an NHL coach. Uh, there's Ken Reggett. So this is essentially what we have with regard to our base. Um, so as I said, it'd be 216 would be the total amount of cards if we we're talking 36 times 6. Um, so here's another stack of the base. This is actually one of the nicest cards. This is one of Mike Richter, kind of groovy. Uh, and then at the bottom of the checklist, there are some of these all-star cards. So it's basically the team all-star cards from North America and, uh, and all worlds. Uh, yeah, so those all-star games, I guess that's the emblem from either the Tampa Bay, it probably would be the Tampa Bay game in 1999, the year after subsequent year would have been the uh, Toronto one. Uh, so what else did we get? Uh, we got the stack of rookie cards. Um, 
And what's kind of unusual about this is these are actually within the base checklist and they're dual cards. Um, so yeah, so Jeff Halprin and, and Glenn Metropolitan, you, you probably actually recognize some of these names. Um, but we did hit the Nabokov, uh, if you, if, and then the Mark Denis, believe it or not, as well as the John Graham. So these are some of the big ones, David Leguan, uh, the Travis Brickley, um, Regeer, uh, as well as the Mike Fisher, um, the Frankie Bouillon of the Habs, the Mike Ribeiro of the Habs. So believe it or not, these are like about 30 of these, but these are inserted, they're actually just base cards, really, uh, inserted in the entire set. So that's... Boom, so, uh, somewhat interesting that we would receive 30 of those rookie cards. Uh, beyond that, actually, there are these, I think we're guaranteed one of these, uh, which are called the Premier Date Parallels. Um, these Premier Date Parallels are numbered to 68, so they are a variation, uh, Variation. they're basically a parallel. So it says Premier Date somewhere, it says it around there. So this would be number 62 of 68. So we're guaranteed one of these of, and it's basically a parallel of any of the base cards, and we just happen to be one of the rookie cards that was the premier date uh, single card within this set. Uh, what else did we receive? We did receive some of these, um, uh, these are the five stars, and the five stars, uh, unfortunately, we didn't receive any of the parallels. There, There is a, so this is from a 30 card checklist. There are four per box, so we received the four per box. Uh, but there is a tier checklist where some of the cards are numbered to 100, some of them are numbered to 75, and they're different colors. Uh, I believe these are all base, so we didn't receive any of the variations, any of the color variations, uh, numbered cards of these. Uh, interestingly, though, the David Legwand, who was in this stack over there, was a rookie. So this is actually a rookie insert of the David Legwand. But we also received the, the Beezer, Mark Messi, and Paul Correa. Uh, so those would be the five stars. Uh, what else did we receive? We did receive a couple of the uh, All Worlds and All Amer North American cards, which are these really cool die cuts. So here they are. Uh, so these again are sort of tout the All-Star game with some die cut technology. Again, uh, Pacific is one of the first ones to do die cuts like this. So they're actually kind of interesting in that it's a, sort of trend setting a bit. But we got received the Timu Solani and the uh, Pavel Dimitra on the world teams and on the North American team, we actually received the Marty Brodeur as well as the Brendan Shanahan uh, die cuts. So this is what the back of the die cuts look like. Pretty neat. Uh, just sort of, as I said, I believe it's a, I believe it's a 10 card checklist for, for either. So 10 of these and 10 of these, we received two of the 10 from that checklist, from those checklists, if you will. Uh, what else did we receive? Um, ba -ba -ba. But if it being, oh, we did receive actual rookie cards. So uh, these are sort of base cards, if you will, but these are sort of like denoted rookie cards. And we received one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven rookie cards. So so, the, so we received 30 here, then another 11. So this is very rookie forward, this particular set of Pacific. We received the Paul Comrie uh, rookie card. So a couple of the lesser name rookie cards, if you will. We did re receive the uh, Nick Antropov rookie card, which is, he was a 10th overall, so that's kind of cool. Uh, Michael York, Brandon Morrow, uh, Robert Esch is also one of the decent, uh, highly touted ones, as well as Brian Campbell. Brian Campbell was on the Chicago Blackhawks in 2010 when they won the cup. But what's interesting about Brian Campbell is he's the one who passed the puck to Patrick Kane, who scored that uh, walk-off OT winner that only Patrick Kane saw sort of stuck in, in the bottom of the net. It was actually Campbell who, who set him up on that pass, the walk-off uh, OT winner. Little known fact, uh, he was a pretty s solid D for many years, even though it was like a six round pick or something ridiculous. We received the Alex Tongay rookie card, the Marty Biron rookie card, and the Patrick Stefan rookie card. And Patrick Stefan was the most highly touted rookie. I think he was drafted in 1999 first overall. It was either 98 or 99. It was one or the other. It was the same year as the Sedin brothers. Uh, who went two and three behind him. So he was the most highly touted uh, uh, rookie of this, uh, because he was the first overall of this particular set. Uh, what else did we receive? Uh, we did receive a parallel rookie card and received the Simon Gagné parallel, and this would be a copper. So that's what the copper, not as in police car, but as in copper metal. Uh, that's his face down there on the bottom right, and it is number 299. So we received this cool Simon Gagné flyers, uh, rookie parallel number to 99 so that's actually half decent uh, we were not guaranteed one of the cool cup die cuts uh, but we did receive one boom so these are kind of cool um, what are these called again you tell me I can't remember what they're called 
uh, but they're awesome. So uh, I did receive uh, the Cup Contender die cuts, I believe is what they're called. 20 card checklist, one of 73, so you should get 0.49 per box. So you should get one, a half of one per box and we hit the uh, Dominator. So that's kind of cool. Again, Pacific really die cut forward. Uh, they are all about the die cuts. And last but not least, uh, one of these Electro Omega EO portraits. Those two uh, come half per box. Uh, and we did receive the Stefan, which is which is actually really good because, as, as I said, he is the most important rookie from this rookie class, uh, was at the time, if you will. What's really interesting about this cool um, EO Electro uh, uh, Optical, that's what it is, Electro Optical insert, is it's actually like a see-through card. <laughs> Uh, this is perforated. You can see through here. How bizarre is that? Isn't that weird? Isn't that unique and unusual? I think that's kind of cool. So yeah, so we received one of these. We're guaranteed half of these. We didn't get a game used. Those are one in five, so 20% of the chance. If you're lucky, if you're fortunate, you might hit that. Uh, so that's basically it, man. Uh, I'm going to be Fulton Cards, uh, live and direct from a place called Brooklyn, New York. Um, please provide a like, please provide a comment, and uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. I give away my cards. Uh, little known fact. I'm going to be Fulton Cards, live and direct from a place called Brooklyn, New York. <laughs>